Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about error page and how exactly this works in our Next.js and how we can customize this error page. So in this video, I'll target to create a custom error page at the root level and at a specific route level as well. For doing this, I will intentionally create an error at a specific component or a route so that you can see this particular custom error message. So for now, first what I'll do is I'll create an error at the app level. So I'm going into app dot, I'm going into page.js of app folder and inside this, let me remove this console and I'll return or throw some error, throw error, which is a JavaScript error. I'm saying that app crashed and save this. Now go here, whenever you go at the app level, then it is saying that app crashed. Now it is showing a randomized error messages instead of showing a custom error message. So it is showing the next day's default error messages. But this is not always acceptable by the customers or the end users. So that's why we will be creating a error which will happen and it will show some customized error component. For example, in that case, what you can do is there is a reserved file for Next.js. Let me use at the app level. So inside my app, I'm trying to create a new file called as error.js. We should not use error.js anymore other than error handling part. For example, if you want to create an Next.js, if you want to override the Next.js default error.js, then only create this error.js file. It is a reserved file by Next.js. So let me export default and I want to export a default function where this function is something like app error and let me return some value from this h1 app crashed. Something like this, save this. Now what will happen is whenever it export this value, then it, is, it should show this app crashed. But what is happening? Let's see. Let me go here. It is not our custom error message, but it is the one which is given by our Next.js during the development. It is expecting error.js must be a client component. Already I have discussed what is client component and what is the purpose of client component in my previous videos. So here what we will do is the rendering or the app crashing should not happen in the server side. Should happen and handled by our browser. So that's why the rendering should happen only in the browser. So I will be making this as a client component. So once you add this, it becomes a client component and you can expect this one to be shown on the UI. So you can see app crashed when I go into 3000. Now what I'll do is I'll try to use this error somewhere else. Let me go into our login. Let me go into login.page.js and let me throw that error. That means anywhere, somewhere the error is happening. Now it is getting the hello world value, but when I go into slash login, then again the app crashed. That means it is picking up the top level one. That error message has been triggered. But I want to show two things. One is at login, it should show login crashed and at app level, it should show app crashed. How we can handle this? So what I can do is I can create one more file inside the login folder and that is also error.js. Now, let me go into our error.js, copy the same code, put it over here. I'll make something like login error and this is something like login crashed and it is also a client component. So let me go here and you can see login crashed. So how it is checking? If I go into register, register does not have any problem. So it will show the register component and let me go into something like dashboard. Dashboard does not have any problem. And once I go into login, then problem caused. And when at the time of this errors, what it will do is it will check in the current folder whether it has any error or JS. Yes, it has the error or JS. That's why it is showing this error or JS. 
if it doesn't find that error.js it will go one level up so it will go into pre-login it will search for error.js no it is not available again it will go one step ahead and it is seeing an app inside the app you do you have any error.js or not yes we have error.js and that's why it will show the error error.js at app level even if it is not configured at app level it will go to the default error messages and it will throw the error over there so that's how you can use this error handling in your Next.js. So points to remember error.js file can be configured at a particular route at a particular segment or at a at app level. So it can be configured anywhere based on the situations that will be picked up by the Next.js and it will be shown. Once it finds the error.js which is the nearest one that will be rendered on the UI and remaining error.js will be ignored. So that is how your error error.js will work in Next.js. Now in the upcoming video we will see how the loading indicators will work and if it is taking some time to load how they generally work. That one we will see in the upcoming video. That's it for this video. Hope you like my explanation. If you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.